Hey folks, my last video I announced a major change to my portfolio and uh, I purchased a uh, bond fund. <laughs> I got a lot of future content from the comments in that uh, video and this is one. And most of the comments were great. Like I said in that video, please read the comments. There's so much knowledge uh, and experience and other examples of what you can do with your portfolio from the comments. It's, it's great. I, I've learned a lot. So um, the, co the video today is about annuity payouts versus compounded annual growth rate. This was a comment that scared me a little bit, actually. And I said, hey, I need to, I need to get a video out on this. Um, def this was a viewer comment. So it's critical you understand the difference. Typically, and I'm going to be very simplified, there's a lot of different annuity products out there. But uh, some annuity, let's just say a very simple one, and you have a $500,000 uh, investment, you give an insurance company $500,000, and they say, hey, this annuity has a 6% payout. Okay, that 6% payout of $500,000 is $30,000 a year. You're gonna receive $30,000 exactly every single year. Again, there are uh, other ones that will pay you less than 30,000 and have a inflation rider in there or some will be linked to the market, but let's just say a very basic vanilla annuity, you're gonna make $30,000 every year. That's a 6% payout. That is not the same at all as a compounded annual growth rate on an investment. Say if you invested 6% or you invested that 500,000 and got 6% compounded annual growth rate, yes, year one, you're gonna have 30,000 more dollars or $530,000. And then this next year, let's say that, you know, you got 6% again, it's gonna be 6% on top of the 530, which is $31,800 for a total now of 500,600 or <laughs> 500,000 800. So it continues to grow and compound on the higher amount. Annuities basic vanilla annuity does not do that. It just will give you 30,000 every year. There's a massive difference in investing in an annuity and investing uh, you know, in like a 60, 40, 40 portfolio uh, and, and trying to get, you know, a compounded annual growth rate of 6%. So there's just a huge difference. People often confuse with like the 4% rule. They hear the 4% rule. I can put my money in an annuity and get 6%. That's better than the 4% rule. Why wouldn't I do that? Well, the difference is one's using compounded annual growth rate, one's using payout, huge different difference. Also, um, one of the things that, you know, that as a rule of thumb that I like to use, this is all my opinion, is use an annuity when you want to buy safety and you're paying a lot of money for safety, you want that fixed payment coming in and you're going to use that money to spend. It's not an investment. It's locking in security for a price, okay? And when you're looking at, at that 4% uh, rule, 4% was based on a 60-40 portfolio for 30 years, worst case. So, worst case, okay? Best case, you could actually grow your money significantly and then have that money available to, to spend, uh, like with the 4% rule, or uh, to pass on. Uh, annuity is not, that's not the product you're buying. So don't compare the 4% rule to your payout of uh, annuity. And it's not the same as compounded annual growth rate. Uh, the biggest negatives towards annuities, it, it's really not adjusted for inflation. That number 6% in this example is higher, be, uh, and it's especially higher earlier when you, when you choose to use it. But you know, you fast forward 30 years, you're still getting that 30,000 payout on 6%, $500,000. That's not very much buying power in 30 years. You've lost a lot. Uh, and that's why people tend to uh, increase their risk by uh, investing in something like 
60% stocks, 40% bonds long term. Uh, it's just a, a different approach. Not saying one's good or one's bad. Annuity is all about taking risk off the table, but for a substantial price. They're getting more popular, annuities are, especially as interest rates have, have crept up. And you're saying, hey, you can get, I just, uh, the comment specifically in the video was saying, hey, I can get 5.75% uh, payout in an annuity. Why wouldn't I do that versus the 4% rule? And <laughs> so that's why I made this video. You know, my plan, I have no plans to buy an annuity. I have some money in buckets. As you know, I got, you know, five years in uh, bucket one, completely out of the market in CDs, money market funds, you know, almost 100% secure things. Uh, and then I have bucket two in a bond fund, okay? Uh, Fidelity total market bond fund, okay? That's what I got. And, um, the reason I bought the bond fund and which started all this, uh, all these comments was to really uh, rebalance a little bit of my portfolio. I was heavily towards stocks. Uh, I have not been a bond fan ever, <laughs> but I think with rates as high as they are now, uh, it's interesting. It's good to diversify a little bit for me. And also I think there's upside if the Fed does lower rates here in the United States you could see even double digits uh, return. So uh, that's, I, I think the, the, the risk is low that I will lose money. The risk is, uh, uh, you know, good chance that I'll get maybe five, five and a half percent return. And there's also a chance of double digit return. So I, I think the uh, risk reward is appropri appropriate for me in bucket two. Now, how long will I keep, um, Bond funds uh, in my bucket too? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've never been a fan of bonds. So uh, I'm gonna be watching this and you know maybe looking for an opportunity to get back into uh, stocks with some of this money. Uh, a lot of you folks came back and said, hey, why aren't you doing a bond ladder? Well, bond ladder, you know, like if I did a five-year bond ladder, you know, let's say this was year uh, five, six, seven, and eight I needed. So I'll get a five year, six year, seven, eight year uh, bond maturity. Well, that locks up my money. And not that I'm planning on spending it, but I'm not convinced bonds is where I want to be. Okay. I'm, I'm just not. So I'm doing this. We'll see. Uh, I'm not trying to, um, well, I'm really just trying to rebalance, rebalance a little bit. So I got about, you know, I think I calculated maybe 9% uh, bonds in my portfolio now. So I'm not heavily invested in bonds at all, at all. So let's see, what else did I write here? I'm using buckets that I'm trying to protect myself. I'm okay with the stock market risk. I've been in the stock market for, you know, 35, 36 years now. I'm perfectly comfortable with the ups and downs. Stock market is great long-term. You just got to not need the money in, in my in anywhere less than seven years. Seven years is my minimum. Uh, more higher is better, like 10 years, 15 years. And so that's where most of my stock is and, and how I'm trying to play the game. Another comment that, uh, you know, I think is uh, appropriate here, and, and I got a lot of comments on it, say, hey, Joe, what do you mean by, if you've already won the game, stop playing? Well, that's not saying you won the game, you're retired. Uh, no, no, no. I, this is referring to how aggressively I choose to invest. I don't need to get 15% uh, returns, to throw out an exaggerated number, to make my expenses over, you know, my lifetime. I don't need that. So why add the risk to my profile why not dial that back to a portion I need 7%, a portion I need 4%, a portion I need 2 or 3%, my buckets. So take risk off the table, just much like a sports team. Think about a football team. If you're up by three, American football, you're up by three touchdowns with five minutes left in the game, you just run the ball up the middle. If you're pl playing soccer, you know, you're up by three goals with four minutes left on the clock, you bring an extra defender back, okay? You're, you're just trying to eat up clock. You're not trying for some dramatic wins. 
If you're down by three goals in soccer, what do you do? You pull the goalie, okay? You pull the goalie, you take more risk. So that's what I mean by, if you've won the game, stop playing. Take risk off the table, okay? So, hey, question for you for this video. Are you considering an annuity for your retirement? Let me know in the comments. It's Joe out.